So I'm going to be making a documentary, but I hope to use the qualities. We've got a, a, a decent art director. We've got a decent photographer. Uh, we have the right equipment. I think we've got a format that will work. I think you'll find it interesting because you will be involved in the making of the documentary. So I have a, a ghostwriter because you know I'm dyslexic. I, I have a, a very, I can't tell you his, but uh, an ex-paralegal is going to be ghostwriting the script for me, with me, based on my knowledge. And uh, I'm going to make it with you guys bit by bit on each night. And I hope you find it interesting because you will be part of this documentary. Probably be like a Netflix sort of documentary set of like a box set of probably four or five episodes. But I'm trying to make it out there, not not just in here. I want to get I want to burst out of the bubble of this little Watts Island onto the world. So to do that, I'll, it'll be released as a video, not released as a live thing here where people talk to me. It's going to be a proper documentary with background music, scripted artwork. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. And I hope at the end of it, it will be produced, but without my theories, it won't be based on theories, it'll be based on the discovery and the mistakes in the discovery and the discrepancies in everything from the DA to the perpetrator, Chris Watts. So I think you're going to find it interesting because mainstream media, I've seen four or five documentaries and they all have the same conclusion. Chris was a lovely man. Shannon was a lovely lady. He fell in love. So all she did wrong was sleep with a married man. And Chris owned up to the affair. Shannon said, you'll never see the kids again. So she, he, he killed Shannon after she killed the kids. And that's what, you know, that's what he says. And the documentary has always sort of gone, well, we'll leave out the bit about Shannon killing the kids. Shannon said, you'll never see the kids again. So he killed everybody, basically. I don't believe that's true. I don't believe millions of you believe that's true, but that's what's been forged, forced, fed, spoon fed to the general population of the world. And most of them now believe that, even though it's totally wrong. I've narrowed down my sources for the film. So we have, first of all, we have the words of uh, my friend Shannon, who I know spoke to Chris directly. I've checked it out. She did. She's got letters from him and she gave me a lot of information that I'll be using through the film based, based on what she told me. I've got Chrissy who um, was friendly with Chris Watts. They were writing books. Um, she has the manuscripts. I know she spoke to Chris, so that's another source that's direct. Uh, Dylan, who's a friend of the show, who's a friend of Chris Watts, who he speaks to regularly, even now, speaks to Chris most days, most weeks. I hope I can deal with these two without animosity. I hope we can interview both, not together. But um, yeah, I hope we can find some clarity between them. So they're real people who really know Chris. Uh, Chris's mum and dad are real people that really know Chris. We're in contact with him. Um, so I think those would be the basic of my Wisconsin whispers for the structure of the documentary. You get what I mean? I've, I've isolated those out. These are, these are the ones I'm going to be using. Um, so I think it's going to be an interesting story. And a story that's never been put together like this before. I'm, a unique, I'm in a unique position to tell this story. But I would be regarded as an expert on the case, regardless of my theories, which are, my theories are one thing in this documentary, which will be based on discovery uh, my eyewitnesses my investigation so that's the difference people that know chris my knowledge and body cam footage uh, the sentencing footage footage uh, facebook footage uh, interviews with chris all that would be used and i think it'd be an amazing series i hope you enjoy it with me the other people were there that night that's it i believe four people were there i think i can prove it that's what the aim of the documentary is of course but I don't know. I don't know what those four people did. I don't know. It's for the police to find that out. It's for me to prove there was five people there or four people there. That's what I need to prove. I believe that's my task in this case. And everything. I've done everything I can for the case. I've shown proof of a person walking out of the house one Chris, all being a documentary. But there'll be no conspiracies. So stick with me as I make my documentary. I hope you find it interesting.